Today I want to add a couple of USB ports in the caravan. It's been pointed out to me that running on solar I've only got one power point through the inverter and that's at the front of the caravan or I can use my cigarette lighter where the TV normally goes but it's still it's still quite awkward it would be really nice to have a USB port closer to the bed so I can just charge my phone which is also my alarm clock and just it'll make life a whole lot easier so I did I did try out a USB um, in the a cigarette lighter socket but I don't know it keeps the cigarette lighter keeps popping out and my phone doesn't seem to like the long cord so I contacted Burns Co and they actually they sent me this and it's awesome so this has a port for cigarette lighter and it's got two USB and I was thinking if you undo this I could just use this part so my plan is to drill a nice little hole somewhere I haven't figured out where and slot that in and then I can just screw this up nice and firm and hold it in place and then it's got some electrical attachments for this but the part I don't really know is the wiring I could in theory wire it into these um, lead lights but I'm not sure how to do that so I'm going to talk to my neighbor get some advice from him and then I'm going to try it myself so that's the plan so when I opened up this cupboard I saw that there was a, a little wire here for these lights that are just sitting underneath these spotlights for the bed and I just gently pulled this out so it's got a whole lot of wiring and it's got these connectors so I guess I've got to figure out what to do with those and then I'm not quite sure where to add the USB like it'd be kind of easy to add it here but then it'd sit quite far back then I was thinking maybe it would be kind of easy to add it here but that might affect the structure of the cupboard and then I was wondering if I should just add it somewhere at the back of the cupboard and then the USB socket would come out from underneath I don't know I don't know what the best option is <laughs> so now I just need to figure out which wire is positive and which one's negative I borrowed this from my neighbor and he just explained how it works so apparently I put it on V for voltage and make sure that that says DC and then um, make sure it has a little V there and it's just one decimal in so that's negative that's positive so I've been given an overview kind of understand what's going on I'm going to share with you exactly what I'm planning to do the plan is to not damage the caravan in any way and have a system where I can just link it in without cutting any wires in the caravan the only difference will be there'll probably be a hole somewhere for this just not sure where yet so at the moment the power comes in here goes straight to the light but we're going to make it so the power comes in goes here to the USB and then carries on to the light So I was just testing that they were all firmly on and I managed to pull this one off and I couldn't save it and it was my one and only so I just raced off and bought some new ones so it's just this last one that needs something new nearly there definitely a funny little setup <laughs> but hopefully it works so the next stage is just drilling the hole and adding this 
So after a bit of back and forth thing about where to put this, I think the best place is right here, slightly further back. So I'll have to stick my hand in, it might be a little awkward to attach from the side, but having it there means I can move my internet modem here and it'll just work a lot easier. So that's my master plan. Well, This is really tight. <laughs> Got there. Oh, my arms hit. <laughs> and now, now I just plug it all in and, and see if it works. So I've just wound that in, can't go any further, and then I think it's just plugging everything. So, there's a little symbol on that, a plus and a negative, so I imagine I just negative there. This part, this wire grouping's the power, so that's the, what am I doing? So we figured out that the brown was the positive. And that this was the negative. And then, so that would be the negative wire. So, I just saw the USB socket light up blue, but for a proper check, it worked! <laughs> It looks a bit of a mess, but you know, we can uh, hide some of these wires, I think. And my tip, my advice I was given was to um, cover these with hot glue, just those two connectors, um, just because they don't slot in like before. But that's it, it works. <laughs> I think that works, right? It's a lot tidier than it was. And now, I might turn this off. So it doesn't glue everywhere. So now it's time just to test it. I'm going to also have my modem in here just because it's the perfect place for it, really. Well, maybe I'll even put it up here. So the modem can be at the top and it needs the most ampage, which is the one at the back. And then my phone cable. I'm actually quite impressed with the setup. It's it's looking quite neat <laughs> and it works. So I think this is gonna make life a whole lot easier. Just having power by my bed and no fluffing around with the cigarette lighter. It's gonna be good.